Hello, hi, how are you today? Today I wanna to talk about when your twin flame comes online. So let's just jump right into it here. The twin flame is online. Now a lot of people have been wondering like what happens on the other side? By now some people have developed a little skill at tuning in, but sometimes it's confusing. What you're really looking for is, are they having that inner activation, that inner awakening, kind of like you had, okay? What's going on? How are they dealing with it? Who's in their life? Are they getting the help they need? All of these questions and much more will be answered here. I'm Patricia, and welcome to my channel, Twin Flame Reconnection. I help people with their spiritual awakening, their ascension, and their twin flame journey. So, how do we know the twin flame is online? Oh, one of these is really obvious. You feel it. You yourself feel it. Why? Because there is a corresponding connection from them to you on the inside. There are no mistakes being made with this. You are already connected even before this incarnation. It might be hard to fathom, but think about it. Why would you just out of all these billions of people here just be so random about it. There is a plan and the plan is that you have a connection. The plan has been for somebody to come online first, activate while the other one holds steady, and now it's their turn. So in this energy, there's a lot of people where you're going to sense it's coming back online somehow. It's just coming back online. That's the only way you could say it. It may have felt dormant for years. There might be no action. You might feel like, well, maybe that just was some little hit and run in my life. I got to know about this, but yeah, it didn't really, I don't know, it didn't go anywhere. Guess what? It's coming back online. And that's a good thing. So part of how you know is you feel like your inner heart jump starts. There is an actual physical and metaphysical sensation it surrounds the chest and the heart. It can feel even as extreme as a mini heart attack. And I'm going to say this as a disclaimer, please check the status of your health. Please have a baseline. Please get yourself checked because a lot of people carry ancestral weaknesses in the heart. Why? That ancestral weakness is not just a pattern. It's because of centuries of unrequited love and arranged marriages and frankly not having love in a person's life. So there are sometimes congenital things that show up. Please get yourself checked. Make sure that your heart is healthy, okay? You can have sensations. You can have like what I call the echo effect. Some people call it the butterfly effect, like it ripples over to you. Heart palpitations, jiggles, like something's trying to align. A bowl of jello, like your heart is suddenly like this jello that's jiggling inside your chest. You can feel little flutters. You can have instances where your heart starts racing. Now, this can also precede a medical event. So please make sure and determine. I am an intuitive and I can help you in when it is metaphysical. And I will ask, have you checked? And a lot of people think they're so spiritual they don't have to check their physical body. The numbers don't lie because the numbers are about your ancestry, your lifestyle, and your twin flame's lifestyle. If you have a twin that smokes, guess what you're going to feel? You're going to feel the effects of cigarette smoke. If your twin drinks, you're going to feel the effects of drinking, drinking alcohol, over drinking, binging, hangovers. Nobody likes to feel the negative side of this, but that is what happens when there's no more separation. You're coming closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. Now, this energy and this coming online is particularly for men and masculine LGBTQ people, okay? People who feel themselves primarily as masculine or totally masculine, you're probably carrying a lot of electric masculine energy. That's been your primary uh, essence until, guess what? You're supposed to alchemize that with your other half. So the electric energy that happens 
begins to retract on purpose. Why? You're not outputting. It's needed to unify you, to union. It's needed for the union. And particularly if you are with someone who is a karmic, if you're with someone who's not the one, that energy is not intended for you to continue creating things with other people. When this happens, though, it's an emotional thing. People begin to feel like they break up. This is why a lot of electric masculine people will do the breakup. They'll be like, I can't do this anymore. I got to break up with you. I'm ghosting you. I She's a nice girl, but I can't tell. Or... You know, uh, I know I'm a stone butch, but, you know, I can't deal with all these femmes. I, I, I got to I don't know. I got to move on. Or some of the gay men, you know, I'm a top, but like, I can't like be everybody's daddy or something like that. You begin, it begins with these mental and emotional feelings and sensations and where some of it it starts clipping off. It clips off the flirtations. It clips off. And you have really weird people. This is going to be a time frame of really weird interactions. Not bad. Not always negative. Weird for sure. Weird stuff happening. Encountering people that seem weird. Why? Because they just don't click. The next thing is going from unreliable to accountable. They start, start taking they start taking personal accountability for things, their health, um, their own well-being. You're not here to coddle them. You're not here to be their mamas or daddies. You're not here to do some of the same old things that have shown up in karmic relationships for lifetimes. Where you do it for them or else they don't do it. They become accountable. They become responsible. They acknowledge their own actions and behaviors. They acknowledge their addictions. They acknowledge how they are if they're a jerk. They know it. People know in their heart. Some people have an off day. Some people are like that. And some people like to put the boots to people. Oh my God. I know. I have like really had this problem with this person at the office. It's like he has to put his personal stamp on everything. He's always so bossy. And he's not even the top boss. He just seems like he's like angling for another position. Oh, I know what you mean. And there's always guys like that at the bar. Yeah, people are tired of it being lopsided like that. So this is going to begin happening. You're going to see it with people. Now, this is not to knock men. This is to say this is an alignment. This is about balance. It's about karmic balancing. Believe me that what goes around comes around for people. You don't have to be in charge of it. Other crap happens to people when they are jerks. It's not going to be like someone being jerky to them. It's going to be maybe their car does break down. Maybe something unfortunately happens to something in their family. They have a large expense that they weren't expecting and they were all high and mighty and there you go. Some crap happened and the shit hit the fan. Okay, this is an energy where quite literally that kind of stuff will be hitting the fan. Now, when your twin flame is online, when your twin flame journey comes online, you feel it. You should feel it. If you're feeling nothing, it is really time to join us. Really, please start investing in yourselves because while this is a lot of good information, I teach you how to do it. I'm teaching you how to fish. I'm not just handing you a fish. Not just whipping out a card that's generic for a lot of people, hoping that, you know, it fits somebody and saying weird, vague things like if this, if this is, if you discern this is for you, then let it resonate. And if not, I, I really don't mean to offend you. It's time we get off that stuff and start getting our acts together on this. So you should feel it. And now it is their turn. What do you do when it is their turn? The very thing that many people have been waiting for. It's their turn. They should be doing this. They should be running the obstacle course. They should be going through all their paces. They should be purging. Well, guess what? It happens on both sides. It is not just the feminine that is being dragged through the mud. Nor did they create the mud. Nor do they want to stay muddy. Most feminines want to, you know, be who they are. 
and not have all that stuff burdening them. Well, guess what? It's their turn. How do you do this? You help, okay? Just like you would do with anyone that you love. You help. This is your other that you're loving. You're helping. Do not get high and mighty about it. Do not feel like, well, I did this. They should do that. It's very much human nature to be vindictive, to retaliate, to feel uh, like you want to get back at someone. That doesn't work because that is not a relationship. Those things happen in karmic relationships. This is you. Whatever you dish, it's going to ping right back to you. So don't do it. You help by doing you. You do by being through the twin flame reconnection. Also, some other things to mention. If you're feeling your twin flame journey is coming online again, be celibate. Focus on your health and Learn from me how to do twin flame breath. I have a great tutorial for this. And be expectant, okay? A lot of people think they've just been waiting in the wings. No, there is a huge plan. There's big stuff coming. So you will be glad you persisted. So please join me. Please check out my new website at Twin Flame Reconnection. We have tutorials, books, webinars, and sessions and coaching. So find out, check it out. Please have a great day and everything's intended to come online. Bye now.